So you've got to go with the screaming eagle. <laughs> the plan is tripping off. Basically, yeah. Fantasy football has never been my strong suit. Well, when you're a Saints fan, you get rough years. Well, here's the thing about it. It grows back. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it grows back. And I'm probably overdue for one anyway, so... Well, you won't need one for a while, man, after this one, so... Uh -oh. You'll be good on this one for a while. Hopefully it just doesn't get super cold again, like it has been. Yeah, like 12. <laughs> I think it was like 9 or something at one point. I was just like, my gosh. One morning I got up, it was 11, and I looked and it said, real feel, 1. <laughs> oh, my gosh, yeah. Yeah, the wind chill was like down to like negative five, negative ten. Some of yeah. was insane. Now, where were we all at? Uh, uh, well, I was with a family in, in Winfield, it's so like northwest Alabama. Right. Um, it was insane. I mean, I'm from Tupelo originally, yeah. but uh, it, yeah, it got down to like five degrees. It snowed on the way there and it snowed on the way back. I got a surprise of mine. They went over to Cloudland Canyon over there on the western side of Lookout Mountain. Yeah, and where the water the waterfall was frozen. <laughs> went to Nakalula Falls and it was almost froze there. Well, even in Florence, like the fountains at UNA were like frozen completely. Um, I just got back from Utah like the week before and it was like in the 20s there and the Friday I was leaving it was supposed to rain that night or snow that night it was supposed to be like 13 inches and I was like get me out of Utah right now because <laughs> I did not want it to suck. Yeah, that's Alabama folks we're not built for that. Yeah I was like this is not. There's places I like up north but they're too cold I wouldn't want to go there except during the summertime. Upstate New York is gorgeous. Rural Pennsylvania, gorgeous. Too cold. Yeah. Oh, Utah is a beautiful place Utah too. Is beautiful. Idaho is beautiful. Idaho is one of the prettiest states I've ever been to. Salt Lake was was really nice, but I, I definitely want to go like deeper into Utah and go into the mountains. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to experience it because I was there for work, but man, it just it, it makes you feel so humble because you realize your monks all this geology that's just huge and you know makes you feel very small when you go out to those areas and you see the creation of god wow it's beautiful it really yeah, is just stand in awe of what he created mm -hmm. i'm a geographer so that's that's always my i love exploring new places hiking and, and doing things like that so Well, that's a ringtone. Yes, sir. Till 11. Alright, right, see you in a bit. Well, when you lose every year, I guess it's better than money. I mean, at least it's not hitting your pocketbook. Yeah, it's either play for money or play for humility, I guess. So, are you going to start picking wiser or? Auto draft doesn't do me any favors. <laughs> Especially all the suggestions on Yahoo as well. 
And I had some of the Buffalo Bills last week, too, so that went to nothing as well. I'm glad he turned out to be okay. Yeah, Ham won. I'm glad he woke up and was or relatively okay. But yeah, it's never been much wrong suit. Like, somehow some participate every year, so. So... So you dad, instead of who dad, you dad. Huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, so like at Mardi Gras one year, um, one of the crews down there had a Saints themed parade, but instead of the Saints, they called them the Aints because mm-hmm. they were like one and 12, one and 13, one year or something like that. So they had a terrible record and it was just basically celebrating the fact that they're terrible. So. Well, they after that, playoff game where they had that no call for the pass interference they were throwing out those yellow ref flags do you remember that yeah at the parades they were like making fun of all the refs and they were like throwing out like false flags at Mardi Gras it was insane but you really won't find any other fans like Saints fans that's for sure what do they say if you got two quarterbacks, you got no quarterbacks? They've had some, some talent there. They just put it together. Yeah, I think Taysom Hill will be good for the Saints uh, if they can just get the program back to where it is. And then beating the Eagles, you know, best team in the league, but still not making the playoffs. Like, I think. I, um, Sean Payton will go back and coach somewhere else next year. They said he's already considering it. He's trying to put together a coaching staff. That's not so bad, is it? Might be your new hairstyle. You might decide to keep this for us. Enjoy the military. Oh no. More at an out of military age, so or draft age, I guess you'd say. Let's send you back quickly. Get to work Monday, everybody's gonna say, What'd you do? <laughs> Literally. I'm gonna say, Las Vegas football. Technically, the season's not over, but it's still hopeless. Yeah. Was there one, one week left, right? Yeah, so. There's, I want the Cowboys to win. A, the Cowboys need to win the Super Bowl so that can get them a trophy. He got that giant extension on that contract and he needs to make himself valuable. I'm just worried that he's going to start getting hurt a lot too, so. Well, he is very injury prone. He's hurt like his thumb and his shoulder. Because that's what just, that was it the ACL right before he got his contract extension? extension? Yeah. All that happened. He's not young no more either. Yeah, for real. He's been in the NFL, what, seven years? I guess 2015, I think, was his senior season at State. Yeah, but like you were saying earlier, I mean, if, if you have the talent, I mean, Dak was really, really good, and he was good in college, but it just goes to show you that, like, building a team that's really, really good, you don't need just, you don't need just one player that's good. You need yeah, to have a whole team. team. And Dak could have excelled more at State had he had a better team built, but 
I think we did exceptionally well for what we had. So, man, when he got with Ezekiel Elliott, they were unstoppable for a while. I think it's gonna be hard for State to find an identity in football after, because you gotta reconcile the air raid offense. Or are you gonna go to something different, or like what? Will Arnett being the youngest in the? I guess he's, is he the youngest ever, or? It's like 37, isn't he? 35, 37, something like that. Brian Harson wasn't much older than that, was he? Hmm. I think he was in his 40s, something like that. Lane Kiffin's in his 30s still, too, I think. Now, Kiffin's got to be up in his 40s. Yeah, oh, I think he's, yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, you, you take his time. USC, then Tennessee. Getting fired on then the USC again, mm, then Alabama. Get fired on the tarmac at USC. Yeah. I didn't realize until Mike Leach passed away that he was kind of the one that got Lincoln Riley into coaching, and how much of an influence he was on a lot of people. He's got a big coaching tree, but Lincoln Riley's not having a lot of success right now. He should have stayed. Was he at Wisconsin? Nebraska? Nebraska. Well, those dream jobs, a lot of those schools turn into nightmare dreams. Like Dan Mullen at Florida. That was just vindication of that. Well, the crazy thing is, like, our athletic director from Starkville went to Florida and then poached Dan Mullen away, like, the next season. And so then our athletic director, you know, last year went to Auburn. And so it's and just, poached some staff from Mississippi State is just, like, the feeder program for all the other SEC schools, really. State head back in the 90s that had it for many, many years. Cheryl, Jackie Cheryl. Jackie Cheryl. Jackie Cheryl. He's a local legend in Starkville. Yeah. yeah. Folks loved him and folks hated him. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like Jackie Cheryl. Yeah, he's a good guy. I mean, yeah, he's, he's a legend in Mississippi State, so Starkville. Well, so was John Cohen before he went to Auburn. I mean, he played baseball at State. He coached baseball at state he hired the national championship winning coach i thought he would stay in starkville until he retired i was really surprised when he went to auburn Money talks, though. but it's just greed at that point like when you're making three million dollars a year do you really need four million dollars a year i don't know well i think auburn has a lot of resources to facilities and this is the same dozen, so I mean look at the basketball program. Well the Auburn of today and the Auburn of the nineties there's two different places also. Yeah. Like I said the Auburn of the eighties and nineties is like starting here. When you go to Auburn now, you're like, oh my goodness. Yeah. Opelika and Auburn it's it's gotten huge. Well, just around campus and everything, stuff, you know, you, you can't even get around campus at all the hall anymore. Yeah. Uh, Mississippi State's becoming the same way. They, they're they doing a lot of, uh, like, inner campus. Mm -hmm. It's going to be pretty much all walking, so. You get the same thing? No, I'm not getting a cut. I didn't lose anything. <laughs> okay, I ain't got enough hair to do a flat top anyway. But. How you going to support your friend, man? Come on, Shoot. Man. There's no support for fantasy football. It's just, it is what it is.
bout d'un bras. She's gonna be pissed. But my co workers are gonna have, like you said, definitely wonder what's up. So, yeah, but I'll come up with real, for real. What's going on there, Brent? What do you know? Be like, yeah, it is what it is. It could have been the old man, but yeah. The, the MPB, yeah, that's yeah. funny. Yeah. With the fire tuck look. Yeah. Our granddad says I look good with the bowl cut. It's because it's cheap, cheap and you can do it at home. That's the only way we used to get haircuts and bowl cuts. Because they did it themselves. I'll put the bowl on our head, cut the rest of it off. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> 